all righty it's your boys the Uxus, and we're back with another nick cave video and today we're going to be tackling um the tribe tower floor 90 um obviously i'm a bit underpowered on that tower so <clears throat> it's been a bit of a challenge for me but i wanted to record it um just because i think i've could get it down now i upgraded my team since so there is that right um so tribal chat tower right obviously since i think like two months ago they added the feature where if you're lower than the power you could still beat it like before i know if you're like before how it was is if your power was lower than the recommended power you would lose like 75 percent damage or something like that so yeah when it comes to tribe tower right i am on floor 90 um i am you know trying to get my little gems here as you see for the chainsaw man collab so um yeah we can get 100 here which would be great this is my team here we're at 50 k 53k almost 54k power um right so essentially what i'm going for here is uh pepper is here to you know give us the heals when we need it and just to be our burst one unit i have senti here just for the little tank or not tank but yeah, I mean the tank, right? For the shield she can do, stuff like that. Uh, Haran and Mordenia is our damage dealer. And then Helm is just like, um, she's more of a support. She's just going to be like a support role, right? She's going to be giving us the extra attack boost every time we go into our full burst. And if I do need to use her ultimate to gain some HP from our damage, from everybody else on the field, then I will do that as well, right? So, um, yeah, this is a stage where you actually do have to play manually, right? I think, um, obviously, a, a lot more stages you got to play manually. But this is a stage where you got to play manually because the boss we're fighting actually lowers defense like crazy when he attacks into you, right? Um, and then, obviously, um, he has a skill where um, when he has max stacks and he, like, punches somebody down, they, inst they get insta-killed, so... Um, I got to focus on little things like that, right? So here we'll let the full burst play out. We're getting an extra damage increase boost from um, Helm here, right? For the just 10 seconds. It's not like a max boost because my Helm is not level 10 on her skills. But uh, yeah, here we got to attack these little circles here. And that's how we're just going to, I guess, like rush through it, right? Um, depends on who we powers down, obviously. Haran again is another big damage dealer, right? If I had Scarlet, it'd be a lot easier. So as you see here, my um, Mordernia here is actually like lower um, on her HP. So now she's dead, right? So it, this is the first time that actually happened, right? It is going to be a f bit difficult. It will be a bit difficult. Um, but I think we can get it down, right? Um, all right, because that never happened before where she like what? Where she <laughs> died like that right instantly too that never happened before i'm not gonna lie all right so he goes right after her i think how it works is like he just goes after whoever's like because i don't have the thing i mean i could turn it on actually um like i could turn it on where we uh here they change nikki because it's still on auto right um we have the key binds as well so we're good there um so when it does come i could just go here click and then boom and then boom and then we can have it like rotate like that um and yeah so now she, he went for somebody else okay i guess it's just random right um right we have the little shield buff here from our uh okay helm died like that's not good right i was thinking of putting rapunzel on the team um just to revive but Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. And now we're dead here. Um, yeah, that moves kills like crazy. All right, so yeah, it is a bit difficult. Um, obviously, um, like the damage doesn't... I mean, the damage obviously matters, but like if I get stronger, um, it's not really going to change outcome. I mean, it'll make it quicker, but I still would have to like protect myself from stuff like that. Unless I just literally get to a point where I'm like one-shotting him. Um, right, and we're already there, like, Mordenia, uh, Modernia, I guess, she does a lot of damage regardless, right, not to mention I gave her the Assault Cube, which, um, actually helps her a lot when she has the hit thing, right, uh, right, she has, like, the, let me see, can I, uh, like, read what they got, okay, yeah, here, so, these are their stacks, um, so this is from, what's it called, I believe this is from the cube, right, 
No, which part is from like no, it's this effect right here. Where the damage is it this? I don't remember what skill it was. Oh, it's here. Giant leap, yeah. So this is it. we're getting this buff the whole time basically because of the um assault cube here too. Right? That's what it was. So there is that right. It's not it shouldn't be it's not really that difficult. Um right, it's just like RNG heavy right now for me. Since I'm again I'm like underpowered by like what? 40k no by 10k right so for example here look i would use helm and then okay we had to get her thing off though come on okay we got it off um but yeah we're back up on hp somewhat for helm i would like for her to get to a bit like higher hp um right i could have rapunzel on my team completely since she is just a raw burst one unit but the problem with Rapunzel is her burst is 40 seconds long. And that is not good at all. Right? That is not good at all. Right? For a uh, 60, not even 40. My bad. 60 seconds long. Right? And that's horrible. Um, because that means every 60 seconds we'll be able to rotate through ultimates. And that is not what we want to be doing. We want to try to get ultimates going as much as possible, right? So um Right, okay, man, like now this is a problem, right? Um Right, the damage they're doing, even Pepper's doing some damage, right? But, um... This one is a bit much. This one's a bit much. I'm not gonna lie. This one is a bit much. <laughs> right, obviously I can just wait and get, like, my power up, right? But it's like, I can't just willingly get my power up unless I spend. And, um, I don't want to spend right now. I've already spent on this game before, but I, I don't want to spend right now, um, because I just don't want to spend right now. Um, maybe when the Chainsaw Man collab comes, and we'll see where the things are looking. Right, but those little cores on the top, at the core, the missile launcher, we want to get rid of those, essentially. Right? Maybe having two snipers on the team isn't a great thing. Um, especially since Helm isn't really going to be doing damage like that, I think. Look, like our main, when our main DPS dies, it's hard, right? This is where, like, the, somebody like Rapunzel would come into play. Like, we could try Rapunzel, but Rapunzel would be useful in a situation like this because now, if somebody dies, I can bring that back to life. We are going to lose an attack buff, though, which is all we're really getting from Helm, so I don't really mind bringing Rapunzel right all we are getting from helm is the attack buff when we get into our full burst right so she's not like she has to be on the team right and then obviously our ultimate as well if we get it off if i decide to use it then it's um that's a different story as well but right how it is is like she can heal us up as well right so um rapunzel on the team is also very very good because she can heal us as well um she heal whoever has the lowest hp gets healed basically when they attack um, from these stacks of hers, right? So, um, we shouldn't, like, in theory, be at low HP at all now, unless he just one-shots us, right? I don't know, um, if I could see his stacks. I don't know if I could see that at all, but, yeah. With Rapunzel, we will be at full HP the whole time. Not to mention, we do have a revive. Um, we have multiple revives, depending on how much, like, how soon they die, I should say. Right? So, actually, they use Rapunzel's, uh, burst first rather than thing right which was kind of weird because it said there was a cooldown on it already oh my god oh my god i gotta pay attention oh you see and then boom and then everybody's dead here so yeah um i wasn't paying attention there. i didn't see the circles but i think with rapunzel we should be able to get it done right it is right i am gonna keep tackling this um but yeah definitely definitely uh i gotta just pay attention I just got like I can't really see the like the serve like like mark here, right? But I think we're good, right? Um, so we have a rocket, two rocket launchers, because I believe Senti's a rocket launcher too, right? So we have a sniper, a rocket launcher, and um, two rocket launchers, a sniper, a machine gun, and a shotgun, um, right? And then obviously this is another boss that again lowers defense heavenly, right? So. With Rapunzel, we're going to be able to build HP up, or at least heal back up, right? Because of um, her skills, right? Or her passives. 
So whoever like gets their HP lowered, Rapunzel is actually gonna help them get back up. All we have to really worry about are these right here, these circles. These circles are all we have to worry about. And then blowing up those missiles and cores at the top. That's all we have to really worry about. But um, Rapunzel is a very good unit, right? I remember when it first came out, she was like, I think bugged, right? And I, like they said she was very, very low tier. But she is very, very, very good when it comes to healing, right? Um, not to mention, again, she can revive. Even though her revive is um, every 60 seconds, a revive is a revive at the end of the day, right? Um, the boom, right? I don't even know if we're going to make it, though. Right? I think we have to really just get those cores down at the top, and we can honestly, uh, like, get it down. Right, so he went for Senti there, and I think Senti had the shield, so that's why she didn't even take damage at all. But I just got to pay attention to these circles. You guys let me know if you, if you guys have done Floor 90, if it was difficult for you guys at first, too. Uh, okay, and then boom. Right, I think we're close to getting down these cores at the top, right? Um, which is good. And then Helm, or not Helm, Haran. Haran does really good damage as well still, till this down her ultimate. If I had, I mean, I have Snow White, but she's not built like that. But I believe, like, Snow White's ultimate also hits, like, very, very, very hard. So I kind of use her as well to cheat. So here, here's a, a very good example. Let me, like, take off all this auto stuff. Can I attack? Okay, no, I flailed there. I I failed there. I failed there. Look, I failed there myself. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I threw there. I threw there. I threw there. Um, but I think I could get it done with this team. Um, I guess this is just a free video, right? Just wanted to kind of tackle it. If you guys have any tips, um, let me know, obviously. But, uh, you know, this is where, like, Nikkei becomes fun for me, right? When it, you know, actually becomes challenging and I have to actually, like, play, play. Right, like most of the time it's on auto, but when it comes to things like this where I have to actually start building the teams and stuff like that, that's where it comes fun for me, right? And then again, because we have the PC port now, I'm motivated to like do things like these, right? On blue stacks, I was never doing this, I'm sorry. Right, but I think we can get it down. We'll run one more attempt and then um, that'll be it. If we win, we win. If we don't, we win, right? But uh, you definitely want to try to get those missiles. Like it's auto targeting those missiles in the cores at the top. Right, all I gotta worry about is the circles, I think, and everything else is fine because everybody else on our team can literally handle it in terms of like our supports, our heals, um, our damage. It's just these circles you gotta worry about. There we go. Um, yep, yeah. like let me pause and see what's the damage looking like. Moderna, but she is really hitting hard too. Um, and my Modernia is not even built like that, too. Like, her skills are, like, what, 4 or 5? Does it show? Her skills are 6, 6, and 5, I guess. Yeah. So, it's not even, like, max. Almost there, actually. Um, right? But, yeah, it's not even close to max. I wouldn't want to um, thing with a uh, thing. So, let's get these circles out the way. And boom. Um... So I think maybe somewhere down the line, regardless, he's still going to one-shot. Because I can't tell how much stacks he has, but he does have a skill where when he stacks um, and he does that, like, punch down thing, he does one-shot, right? Um, if he gets it to max stacks. So I definitely got to, like, worry about that. But hopefully he goes for Senti, because every time he goes for Senti, it seems like he's not doing nothing. Right? Um, and these things, that the missiles at the top uh, look like they're about to be finished, right? Pilgrims in this game are just so much better, right? Like, obviously, like, yeah, the Pilgrims in this game are just better than everybody else. I'm sorry. Literally, like, the top DPS, all three top DPS in the game are Pilgrims, right? Modernia, um, Haran, and Scarlet. All of them are all Pilgrims, right? So, having Pilgrims on this game definitely benefits you a lot more than uh, having a regular, like, uh, come on, come on. There we go. We got it last second. And then these, like, this is going to take a big chunk of that, like, HP off, I think, of the top there. Yeah, so he went down by, like, five stacks there, right, from just one, right? Um, if we can get Modernia's ultimates here, no, it's Haran, right, but it's still fine. He's going to go down by, like, a big chunk here because we're close. We're close, okay? Let's get these circles out the way. This one, there we go. And the top, there we go, went down. And then one more, just a core, just a core. Get the core down. And Modernia's ultimate here, 10. So, can we get 10 done in, like, a couple seconds? Probably not. Um, I don't think we can. 
But we made it close, right? So I don't think regardless, like, we just have to get stronger regardless, right? Five seconds and, like, everybody lived, but we just, the time wasn't there for us. Like, we just need more damage, I think. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's great, right? I think now, really, like, with the PC port and stuff like that, I'm more motivated to do things like this. I know I'm blue stacks on my phone. I just wasn't having it. But, uh, again, definitely let me know if you guys have tackled this, what your strategy was. As you see, Moderni and Haran carried us. Rapunzel was doing great damage, too. Even Pepper, right? I mean, obviously, over time, they like it. The damage would look like this. But Rapunzel was healing us. Um, obviously, Moderni. Oh, even Haran was tanking some, too. Right? But, yeah, that's it. You guys let me know. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.